Glory be to God. Hallelujah. My name is Caesar. I want to welcome you to our YouTube channel on this lovely day. If you happen to be here for the first time, I welcome you to subscribe and join this growing family in the name of Jesus. Amen. And to our returning viewers, we want to say thank you for always tuning in and uh, for all your comments. We are always on our knees praying for you and calling on the name of Jesus on your behalf. Glory be to God. And uh, to everyone, we can now watch all the advertisements that are running uh, on this channel. And God will bless you. We are on location here in Camp Toyoyo, Asoka Stadium. And uh, we are, this is the, my, my neighborhood. This is where I grew up as a young boy. And uh, we thank God for that. And uh, I have lots of memories uh, growing up in this area. And uh, we have come back. We have come back here uh, where we grew up. And uh, just to catch up with everyone and to give God all the praise. Hallelujah. And uh, we are in the book of Hosea, Hosea chapter chapter 1. Uh, we are going to start a series uh, from the book of Hosea. And uh, the game has started, the game has started. Uh, if you are tuning in uh, at the beginning of the week, uh, we said we are getting ready to watch this game. Uh, the game has started. After this video, we will be watching this game. Glory be to God. And it's a nice way just to spend the weekend uh, and uh, uh, to see and support uh, the young people uh, and, and uh, just uh, to give them the encouragement that they can make it and be the top stars uh, who will be all proud of. And uh, I, I don't see any uh, ball boy here. You know, when the ball uh, gets out of the pitch, the ball boy is supposed to take it back. Uh, maybe they will assume I will be the ball boy. <laughs> Amen. Glory be to God. Anyway, uh, Hosea chapter, uh, chapter 1, from verse 1 to 7. Uh, it's an interesting story. Uh, we are told that uh, these are the words of Hosea, hallelujah, who preached in the days uh, of the kings, uh, of the four kings of Judah, the famous uh, kings of Judah, uh, King uh, Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah. Uh, this is just about the same time. Uh, that the prophet Isaiah uh, appeared on the scene in the kingdom of Judah. And uh, Hosea probably was also uh, in Judea, uh, in Judah and uh, in the kingdom of Israel, because he says that uh, uh, in the days of these four kings and also in the days of uh, uh, Zerubbabel, son of Joash, the king of Israel, and uh, this indicates that he was based in the kingdom of Israel, in the larger northern kingdom of Israel. Uh, praise be to God. Uh, the game is, uh, the game is, is, is there, are they going to score? Let's see that. <laughs> ah, lovely, lovely, lovely. Praise be to God. I think the defense, uh, the defense held its ground and uh, they, uh, they have repelled the attack. Glory be to God. I love soccer. Praise be to God. And uh, the gospel is full of uh, stories of uh, uh, encouraging us to uh, to be active. Uh, the Olympics, you know, the Olympics are described in the New Testament. And uh, we thank God because it was written during the times of the Greek, uh, of the uh, when the Greek uh, when the Greeks uh, were, you know, were the dominant force uh, in the world. Glory be to God. Amen. Uh, therefore, uh, we love sports and we thank God for that. We'll be watching this game as soon as you're done with this video. Amen. Going on, uh, going on with our word from uh, Hosea chapter 1 and verse number 2. Uh, the Bible says that uh, these are the words when the Lord began to speak to Hosea. You know, when God first begins to speak to you, you expect him to tell you wonderful things and good things. But that is not how God does most of the time. You know, he can't, especially if you are a prophet. And we are always told that we are all prophets. You know, when God comes to you, he has a word and a message for everyone. And God says to, uh, uh, to Hosea, go and take for yourself a wife of harlotry. Hosea was a young man. 
a young man just like this young man out here, just like most of us out here. He was a man looking for a wife, a man looking for a wife, looking forward to having a lovely family, and a young prophet. But what did God tell him? God told him, go take yourself, for yourself, a wife from the children of Hollow Tree, a prostitute. Let her become your wife. And if it was me, if it was you, we would have doubted God. I grew up in church. I expect to meet a girl in church. I preach all my life. I expect to meet a preacher, woman. Glory be to God. But at times God says different things. That's how he spoke. Remember how he spoke to Ezekiel? How he spoke to Isaiah? Differently, unconventionally. Ways that are, are unconventional to man. Glory be to God. Therefore we are told that Hosea went and married Goma, the daughter of the blame. And she conceived and bore a son. The Bible said, God again appears on the scene. I know when we have children, we want to give all the names. We have, even, we have even written the names of our children down. But Hosea didn't have the privilege of doing that. God told him, name the son Jezreel, because I will avenge the blood that Jehu, the king of Israel, had shed. Remember Jehu in the days of King Ahab? Jehu was so bloodthirsty, he was the commander of the army, he was so bloodthirsty. And Jehu slaughtered almost everyone who stood on his way. And God told Hosea, remember that uh, Jeroboam was his great grandson, he was sitting on the throne of Israel. And God told Hosea, go tell Jeroboam, the son of Joash, the king of Israel, that I will avenge the blood of Jehu, the commander, the king of Israel. I will avenge. I will avenge the blood that is shed in the valley of Jezreel. God told him, I will avenge the blood. In one day, in that day, I will put an end to the kingdom of Israel. Glory be to God. Amen. Hallelujah, those who are not good words and not a good name to name your son, your firstborn son. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And then you are told, as we conclude, again, again, Goma conceived and she gave birth to a daughter. And the Lord told Hosea, name the little girl. You know, girls, dad, dads love their daughters. And he was, again, looking forward to naming the girl a good name. But God told Hosea, go name the girl, your daughter, your beautiful angel. Go name her, Lord, Ruhama, meaning no mercy. Because I will not show any mercy to the children of Israel. I will show no mercy. And you know when God says that he will show no mercy, he's a merciful God, but when he says that I will break out in my wrath, he means it. He will wipe away everything. Praise be to God. He says to Hosea, Go name the child, Lord Ruhama, meaning no mercy, because I will no longer show mercy to the children of Israel. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And he says that, but to Judah, but to Judah, I will save them. God had a soft spot for Judah. He says, but to Judah, I will save them. But the Lord God Almighty, I will not save them by the battle. I will not so save them by the bow. I will not save them by the horse, or by the horseman, or by the sword. I will save them 
by the Lord my God. Hosea chapter 1 and verse number 7. Glory be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. I will save them. And this is the word of God to us today. We shall continue next time when you look at the third of the uh, the birth of the third child. An interesting story. And Hosea is a book full of drama. Uh, a book full of uh, wisdom uh, and, uh, and uh, insight. A lovely book for young couples. If you're married, this is a book for you to read. If you're looking to be married, this is a lovely book for you to read and to pray about. And we are going to journey every uh, we are going to journey through every chapter, word for word, verse for verse, and God will bless us. I encourage you to, to, uh, to read the whole of uh, uh, Hosea chapter 1. And when we meet here next time, we'll just bless the Lord for his word and encourage each other in the faith. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Remember to subscribe. Remember to watch all our adverts. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord make his faith to shine upon you and give you peace. See you again tomorrow. Take good care of yourself. Bye-bye. Amen.